The Johnson Medical Products Company in Wuhan has been working at full capacity since the city's lockdown began in January. Since early March, overseas orders have started to surge, which are now ten times than before, an unprecedented rise. Clients from Spain, Italy, Germany, and the Netherlands have asked us for products. They were in urgent need of medical supplies in less than a week by air transport. So far, we already have orders with 15 million U.S. dollars, and we're supposed to deliver them by May. The company makes a variety of medical products and has been exporting them for more than two decades. Clients are from Europe, the U.S., and Southeast Asia. The company now makes 200,000 masks and 40,000 protective suits a day. As orders continue to grow, they plan to add five more mask production lines to increase daily production capacity to 700,000 pieces. We have all the required qualifications and are able to make products that meet EU, U.S., and Japanese standards. We have achieved a certificate of a quality assurance system. And set up a quality control working group. As many virus-hit countries now face a severe shortage of masks, the company also reminds the clients to use the right masks for different occasions. When you purchase protective masks, you must confirm whether they are for use by doctors or ordinary people. Their quality standards are different. The bacterial filtration efficiency of ordinary face masks reach 95 percent, while surgical masks reach above 98 percent, and masks go through sterilization. As Wuhan still has some of its own confirmed cases, the company has been following strict measures to ensure the health of its workers. Since the outbreak, all of them have been arranged to rest and eat in an isolated hotel to avoid contact with outside people. Hu Chao, CGTN, Wuhan.